There's no doubt the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is my favorite phone at the moment. I mean, I switched to it from the 14 Pro Max as my daily driver. And just three weeks later, I couldn't really ask for anything else. The experience that I had with the S23 Ultra has been nothing short of exceptional. But in these videos, I like to keep my personal bias out of it. So I'm going to tell you 10 ways that the S23 Ultra is just better than the iPhone 14 Pro Max. But next week, I'll bite my tongue and do the exact same thing for the iPhone. If you want to see that video, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell because it really does help out way more than you know. And also, I just wanted to say thank you for allowing this channel to surpass 15,000 subscribers. You guys even surpassed the goal of it happening on my birthday, which is absolutely insane. And also, by the time you're watching this video, my birthday has passed, but I want to say thank you to everyone that left a birthday wish in the comments down below. It just, it meant a lot. It was really nice to see that. So thank you so much. Anyways, when it comes to the S23 Ultra, there's a lot to talk about. So it was really a challenge coming up with 10 things to make this device stand out to me over the iPhone. I did my best to compile 10 things that are not only useful to myself, but really show off how powerful and capable the S23 Ultra is. So in no particular order, starting at number 10, we have the display. At 6.8 inches with a pixel density of 500 PPI, there's no doubt that this is a high resolution QHD Plus Super AMOLED display. It's bright, boasting HDR peaks of up to 1750 nits, but most importantly to me, it's rectangular rather than having rounded corners like we see on nearly every device today. This makes watching content and playing games an absolute treat because you're not losing any real estate at the corners. Another thing that makes this display so great is that it's nearly uninterrupted with just a centered 12 megapixel selfie camera at the forehead of the display. It's just very easy to forget that it's there, unlike you know who. At number 9, I have the 10 times periscope lens. I cannot tell you how awesome it is to have real, usable optical zoom on a phone until you've tried it for yourself. When I say that the S23 Ultra has a very versatile camera, I mean it, but this telephoto lens is usually the center point of that conversation for me. Having the range and capability you do on this telephoto lens gives you so much more headroom for what you're able to shoot if you're into mobile photography. I could see it being really useful on a trip to the zoo or just trying to get close to a subject that really isn't in reach. I used my S22 Ultra when I visited the Kingston Penitentiary to get shots that just would not have been possible if I brought my iPhone at the time. So for that reason, I think this is a really killer feature on the S23 Ultra. Number eight for me has got to be the clipboard. Now I can't sit here and tell you that this is an S23 Ultra exclusive thing, but on a phone this large that's meant for business, there's a lot that I find myself copying and pasting to get things done. And if you don't know what the clipboard is, it's almost exactly like how the name sounds. It's a place for all of your copied images, text, but whatever it is, it's a place for all of that content to just sit there and be stored until you actually need to use it. I use it for social links or for tracking packages. It just, it doesn't really have a unified purpose. And to be honest, you may never use it, but it's one of those things that really adds to the overall experience and make this phone so much more friendly to use. Speaking of friendly to use, that leads me to my number seven, the S Pen. Now I've preached about this thing a ton and how useful it is for me and being a note style phone, this is one of the device's selling points. But I don't think that everyone automatically comes around to the S Pen until they find their use case. I use mine a lot for annotating screenshots like covering up ad revenue when I post analytics on Twitter but I also use it as a remote shutter for taking photos for thumbnails if I need an image of myself since it is a Bluetooth remote and does have a button. The S Pen can really level up your experience with the phone if you take your time to learn it. And about leveling up that experience, my number six being multitasking. There's nothing quite like having two apps at the same time on this large display whether I want to watch YouTube without popping it out and keep tabs on Twitter or use the calculator to see exactly what I'd like to calculate. Multitasking is something that I've been preaching for on the iPhone for ages, and you can call it useless or call it a gimmick, but once you use it, you'll realize how powerful it can actually be on this device. Just like my number five, 
customization. The S23 Ultra with One UI gives you lots of playroom for tweaking and customizing the phone to make it look like your own, like using Theme Park to change your icon pack like I did, or Good Lock to completely revamp your lock screen. It's just something that doesn't get boring, and if you're tired of doing it yourself, you can even pick a ton of pre-made themes, which I think is just awesome. I do want to take a stroll back around to the camera though and talk about my number four, which is the 8K video recording. With the S23 Ultra, Samsung now allows you to do 8K 30fps video, unlike 24fps found previously. However, this time, it's not a gimmick and the video actually looks amazing. It's sharp, it's smooth, it is real usable footage, and it really gives the phone a leg up if you're wanting to use it for content creation. I'm really happy with this addition. The file sizes are pretty large though, so I wouldn't expect you to go shoot in 8K all the time, and it does fall apart in lower light environments, but it's pretty damn good. I'll link a video that my buddy Alex made from Alex Gear and Tech where he literally just did a showcase showing the capabilities of this using only the 8K 30fps video recording, and it is genuinely mind-blowing footage. Speaking of blowing your mind though, if you're used to the iPhone, this will too, at my number three, which is 45 watt charging. Granted, the battery life on this phone is insane, lasting me easily 10 hours of screen on time. But if you did want to change it, I'll have you know with the right cable and 45 watt adapter, you can fully charge this phone in an hour. I use a Ugreen 65 watt GAN charger with a 45 watt rated cable, and I don't charge the phone overnight anymore. I just top it up while I'm at my desk and it lasts me two whole days with my usage. I really couldn't be happier with the performance and charging capabilities of this device because honestly, I really don't have to think about it. If I ever wake up and realize that my phone didn't charge and I need to go out for the day, it will just take me a couple of minutes to juice it right back up. And it doesn't get all of that done without the help of my number two, USB-C. This phone does have a trick up its sleeve using that port, but we'll get to that. Though, this phone can do everything from audio to video to fast charge, you name it, thanks to being compatible with USB-C. Something we're still waiting to be brought over to the iPhone. And I have to say, it makes the S23 Ultra look like a jack of all trades in comparison, because you can even use USB hubs to extend the functionality of your phone, like move media from an SD card or a USB stick. It's just not something that you might even think about, especially if you aren't really a tech savvy person, that that port opens you up to a lot more on this phone than it would on something like an iPhone. Which leads me to my number one, which is Samsung DeX. If you're spending $1,200 on a phone, why not be able to use that phone as your computer or your laptop? With DeX over USB-C or wireless with a capable display, you're able to use a full desktop environment all powered completely by your S23 Ultra. I know tons of people in the tech community that actually use DeX as a computer replacement and the capabilities are insane. Especially since this is a nearly hidden and less talked about feature, you probably didn't even know that your phone was capable of this if you're just an average consumer. I'm considering doing a video completely about DeX or even something like switching to DeX to see if I can use it as a laptop replacement for what I do on this channel. If that's something that you'd like to see, subscribe to the channel down below, hit the like button if you enjoyed watching this, and I'll see you all in the next one. Anyways, get ready for the next video about 10 things that the iPhone is just simply better than the S23 Ultra at doing. Peace out.